What if I told you that Sayori has been the nice guy, but for us all these years, just wanting to see us get closer and become more like involved with one another. And you guys are sitting here telling me to throw that all away just because there's one girl in the class that she brought us into that has bigger boobs than her. Think about that and be ashamed. With that being said, type 1 if we should still choose a girl that just has a bigger chest. I will say, just for the chat, that this game deals with severe Twitter warning topics and to keep your safety in mind while enjoying this content. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, the only fucking severe warning so far has been the fact that I've been bored out of my mind. The sky victim of currents in the wind. After I search, I search with a little hope knowing legends don't exist. <laughs> legends don't exist? Look in the fucking Logitech C720 camera, dude. There's your fucking legend, dumbass. <laughs> okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems. Why don't we start figuring out? Hold on a second, is it just me or do you say something strange? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right, you deviate from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. I don't have a catchphrase. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is in a immune set. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only difference is that Sayori is in here. Ah. It seems you're right. Sigh. Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's bounce is so awful when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on. She actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with her. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh, that curious expression coming from her of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. Guys, do they give you the option that two of the girls can fight to the death over you or no? Is that like an option or no? Yes? Okay, good. Yo, you guys know motherfucking don't. What did she say? Nice. Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. Let's just have what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. Yeah, what? Giving cancer to the entire fucking club? That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that by yourself? Challenge accepted. As for myself, I'm going to be printing all of the poetry pamphlets. Sarah will be helping me design them, and as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I'm useless. No, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's on around. That may be the case, but if I can also be a leader on my own, that won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to upset the atmosphere. Atmosphere? About that. I... I love the atmosphere. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Dantes chan the one who's truly useless. Yeah, we'll see how fucking you are with no arms and no legs after I fucking- How does that fucking sound? Who's fucking useless now? That wasn't me, by the way. That was Dantes chan Alright, anyways. Aha! Don't say that. Oh, and I was the one that called myself useless! Oh, shit. Whoops. Um. <laughs> can cancel me because I'm just doing a silly little dance. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can always help me out as well. I'd be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. Yeah, the only... <laughs> it's like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Dante Shan may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance, so therefore he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! 
How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Dante's Chan to. W what are you saying? It would be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Dante's Chan to decide how he'd like to contribute. When does this game get better? Soon. Nice. Besides, he hasn't really got some chance of spending time with me, met me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry, I was just saying, though. Jeez, can we just sell this already? Yeah, Dante Shan, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. There's only one problem, though, guys. Because Sayori was saying that it's gonna make things so much harder... The fact that, like, we were actually starting to like each other, right? So what if I choose Sayori, and then she I go to, like, Sayori's house, and she, like, in-gamed herself? You know what I mean? Then it's like I wasted a choice. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Everyone wa Everyone wants Sayori. We'll choose it. I mean, if it's going to anyone, I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said- Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? N no Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? WAIT, I CAN'T EVEN CHOOSE HER?! WHY CAN'T I CHOOSE HER?! Choose Yuri then? No, because the thing is, I promised Sayori that I wouldn't hang out with Yuri. That's the thing. So she finds out that me and Yuri- so, like, th these are my choices, let me explain. I promised Sayori that I wouldn't hang out with Yuri, right? And then the other problem is that Natsuki is really, like, the biggest I've ever met in my entire fucking life. And spending a weekend with her literally sounds fucking miserable. So the only choice is to go with Monica. They're the only one. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Hold on one second! Yeah, yeah! Monica, you're the one that needs the least help out of all of us. But, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Dante's Chan was the one who... Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you also once with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this one have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know? Won't do us a good job if you make us work alone. Ah, uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club. If you want our event to succeed, then we need to probably distribute our resources. Um, ah, uh, so you're going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay, I get it. Bro. Choose the pink haired bitch. But she's the biggest ever! It's gonna be funny, just choose the, the pink haired bitch. So you're telling me if I choose Yuri, they say you can't choose Yuri. Is it just cause you're jealous about Yuri? Be honest, is it cause you're jealous of Yuri? I'm not jealous! Are you sure? Okay, give me the mic. Alright. Okay. Chad, listen, since three days I'm not able to watch Dunce's streams because this motherfucker, if I once, just once, glance in the direction of an anime boy when we watch episodes, he's like, you're a cheater, you're doing this, you're disgusting, blah blah blah, oh yeah, you, you want to look at other men, you know what, I'm looking at big fat anime, blah 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 blah, and then I'm sitting here for three days straight having to see this motherfucker being like, Oh yeah, fuck yeah, Uvu for me, Oni-chan, of course I'm over it, and then I have to not just hear that, but also him impersonating how the fuck he imagines them to talk, like bros giving that one femboy vibes, the other one, other one is fucking mommy vibes, and the other one sounds like him, cause he's fucking, oh my god. So you are jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. Okay, but listen, I'm choosing Natsuki of my own volition because I promised 
Say Yuri that I wouldn't hang out with Yuri. You aren't? Yes, I am. This is my choice. You're a coward. No, this is... It's my choice. Baking sounds like it could be fun, and you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so I could probably use two people. Don't worry, baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. And just a minute ago, you were saying that th that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. That's good. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard not to feel bad. I mean, guys, listen, I'll give you pro tips. If there's ever a girl and she's sitting there and acting a little bit dramatic, tell her that. You know what I mean? Like, watch this. Laura? Laura? You're very beautiful. That's what I thought. Thank you. Okay. Anyways, so now let's continue on with the story. Are you guys excited? Yes. Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. What Yo, about you, you Dante? Shan? Me? Best ah. I guess you could say I'm interested in seeing how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not, I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything, but it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help? That doesn't mean... <laughs> Natsuki glances back and forth. Natsuki goes over and puts her hands on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here, and... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the, cup the cupcakes will probably help too. If you're going to make the atmosphere special, that'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Natsuki releases her hands and turns around to face the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, n not really, but Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken back by Natsuki's words. Her of all people to be saying such encouraging things, but I begin to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone's mom feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do everyone and do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm sitting here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow both of them out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Huh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that's in my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You'd better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. Natsuki gives me her number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm not helping, I'd be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like, I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. Anyway, I just need to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's what I needed from you. I guess I'll text when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. Yeah, I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much, so you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just gonna give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like that in front of everyone that was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of, just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is, so... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Never mind. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming to my house. Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots to the roof. I guess I'm pretty used to handling her at this point, but who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel so nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like... We feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. 
That's a fucking kluge moment. It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll d act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We send each other one send each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that one coming. Putting Natsuki outside, I haven't heard a thing from Sarah since she left the club. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. Dude, you know, the thing about me is that I always, my, my brain always jumps to worst case scenario. Like, if I'm in this situation, my first thought is Sarah... I'm telling you. Literally, my first thought is always, what's the worst case scenario? And that's what happened. Like, I'll give you an example. If me and Laura go to the mall, and she takes too long in the bathroom, like imagine five minutes. My first thought is, there was a guy waiting in the stall and he kidnapped her. So literally the entire time she's in the bathroom, the only thing I'm thinking is that she literally got like kid kidnapped and she's getting like abducted. Right, let's go. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sarah said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sarah's feelings aside when she might need me? I decide to visit her before Natsuki comes over. Rather than asking, I still meet time coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach her house, I knock on the door before entering myself. Again, we used to play so often that we made it a habit of entering each other's house like we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori is an animal on the first floor, so I assume she's in her room. Sorry, strange for not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Hi, Dantes Chan. I sit down in her room. Sarah forces a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sarah's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals on wall decorations. Hee 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 hee. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you said want to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Sarah had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preps, right? Ah, uh, that's true, but what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence. Sarah stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well, so... Sari smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Dantes Chan. Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't even be thinking about me right now. But this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Sayori. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. <laughs> Funny story about grabbing people by the shoulders. Apparently there's a thing called baby shaking syndrome. And if you shake a baby too hard, it's brain legit like unplugs and it becomes brain dead. Anyways. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this, so tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah, ha ha ha. Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Dante Shan, but... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Dante Shan? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is, I've had a really bad depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and care to waste by having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. I'm in shock. I can't figure out how to respond. How is it possible that she kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I know, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much I can do. 
I would have tried every day a little bit harder to make things better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. You don't understand at all, Dantes Chan. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try caring about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like bat being swung against my head. That's why I wanted you so badly to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. So she's an emotion! Also, is this supposed to be the triggering shit, by the way? I was expecting to see them, like, running around with knives killing each other. There's no way that this is the big reveal. No, it gets worse. Okay, good. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ha ha ha. You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Dantes Chan. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the lit club because I was selfish, and I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. See, this is where, this is where, guys, Doki Doki Literature Club takes the crazy route. Because the thing is, <laughs> the guy sits there, and he says, <laughs> the thing is, my name's not actually Dantes Chan, it's Andrew Tate. And then he gaslights her into starting on his, like, OnlyFans cam model business bullshit, and then he makes money off her for the next, like, 15 years. Legit. It's like he does the big reveal, just shows he's, like, an awful person, and so it's, like, using them for fucking, like, cam modeling and shit like that. And then gaslights the world into thinking that he's, like, a good dude because of it. <laughs> I'm just weak and selfish, that's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments, because I deserve every last one. Okay, chat, be honest with me. Honest answer. If you were in this position right now, type 1 if you would sit there and be like, no, let's work through it and try to help her. Type 2 if you'd say, okay, leave, block her number, and then just start hitting up Natsuki or Yuri. Be honest. <laughs> that's a lot more... Dude, listen... Everyone's spamming too, come on. You know what I mean? Without thinking, I once again grabbed her shoulders. This time I pulled her into a tight embrace. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Dantes Chan. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you happy every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Dantes Chan! Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing. No, don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Dantes Chan. I... Sayori barely manages to speak between sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away, and if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sari puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Dantes Chan. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. <laughs> no. That's when you sit her down, Chad. You get a big rope. Tie it around her. Make sure she can't move. Strap her ankles to the chair with handcuffs. And then you open up the fucking laptop, pop open League, and force her to cube fucking 10 games in Masters. Streaming with no delay. Playing fucking Hecarim in this meta. That's what you fucking do. You want to feel fucking pain? No problem. I'll make you feel fucking pain. Fuck does that sound? <laughs> but your hugs are so warm and that's really scary too. Sayori lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun, right? 
Yeah. How do you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um, uh, it's what I want. I promise. I, I think that would be nice, son. Yeah. Sari wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, she shakes her head. I'm sorry, I don't know if that would be good for me today. You understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Natsuki's about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. Before I know it, she texts me and let me know she's outside the front door. Without delay, I open the door to let her in. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing her in something other than the school uniform really threw me off. Seeing her in such cute clothes makes the uniform seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel so awkward already. It's going to be long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. I see you brought a lot of stuff. Natsuki is carrying a large bag that's full of baking supplies. But I didn't want to come all this way to find out that her kitchen isn't equipped from the job. You bought everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuki asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad I could count on you to do your part. Well, of course. I'm surprised to hear her suddenly say that rather than something snarky like she usually does. Could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Anyway, let's go to the kitchen. What, you're not going to offer to take this heavy bag from me? Where's your hospitality? Come on. Since one day I need to be a gentleman, I grab the bag she holds out to me. This is ridiculously heavy. Ha ha ha, I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I am impressed, Natsuki. Seems I always underestimate you. He he he. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? You jerk. Natsuki hits a fist <laughs> into my chest. <laughs> Bro, no, hey, that wouldn't be me. Punch in the chest, insta fucking clobber on the fucking forehead, send you into the fucking other dimension instantly. Fucking Christ. Hey, hey, your size has nothing to do with it. Do you really hate being small that much? Eh? Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I prove people wrong when the only thing I'm worth my size. It's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. But, geez, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you make me talk about weird things just because we're not at school. Are we getting started? What? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. That's a little bit more like you. You're more fun when you just speak your mind like that. Hey! Now you are treating me like a kid. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? And just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri... <laughs> doesn't mean you should treat me like... Ah! Ah! Natsuki catches her, f her words and her face turns red. He needs to tell her. <laughs> You're so mature for your age that you should know better than to compare yourself to them. You know what I mean? And then he should start blasting a bit of Drake. <laughs> They're cooking with hotline bling, you know what I mean, type shit. so hard every game. Suplex her into the jungle and make her play Hecarim. She doesn't know real pain. <laughs> no. Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Eh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, if that's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types like yours. <laughs> yeah, we got a word for that, actually. <laughs> you know what I mean? We got a word for that, actually. We got a word for that, actually. Ah, how would you know that anyway? Just trust me on this one. Gross. Hey, was that to me? Who else? Man, let's just get started already. Ha ha ha, you get all sour when a girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness, Dantes-chan. Natsuki smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if she decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm not fighting back. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. 
I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use this food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you complete finish the mi mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with the whisk and a huge bowl for the icing. Eh? The icing's so lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the wisp and uses the other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to beat the crap out of it. After a few seconds, the consistency has already improved. See? Natsu Natsuki sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! She grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Bro. <laughs> you already know what he should be saying, you know what I mean? All he says is, well, if we can use my fingers, and you know what I mean? Think about it. <laughs> 911 called. Shut up. Dan Schneider would know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. For anyone that doesn't know, that's the guy from Nickelodeon that, like, produced iCarly. And he had, like, a weird foot with all like the people you're icing eh? are you gonna forget who did all the work i start to fight back trying to inch my finger towards the bowl don't make me beat the crap out of you next i'd like to see you try i push hard just enough for it to reach the icing i scoop some with my finger just as she tugs with all her might ah the force of her pulling me caused me to stumble making her stumble in turn gross you got it on my face whose fault is that there's a big glob of icing on her cheek She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez, you know what? Take this. She instead wipes off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. You wish I'm faster. I grab her wrist before it reaches my face. She tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Haha, <laughs> stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine, I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it, it's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know? Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me? You really shouldn't tease girls like that, is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. What? Did, did you seriously just... Uh, uh? Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Her face is entirely red. Dantes chan you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. You know that, right? What kind of question is she asking me just like that? How'd the moon turn to this so quickly? I... She gazed at me in silence. I noticed her shallow breaths. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Oh, <laughs> Dude. So hard every game. We making it into the prison with this one. Sario? Is it... Well, what's the other girl's name? Sario? Sa what is it? Sayori? Yeah, Sayori watching from outside the fucking window with the TA emote. You know, like capital T, capital A? <laughs> Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Eh. Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. No wonder. You left a dirty train here, dummy. How can you make a dis mistake like that? Should have checked before turning the oven on. Don't blame me for your mistakes, jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the stove, and in another moment the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. The tension from the moment still lingers. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as she slides the cupcake trays into the oven. And then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing happened. That smells so good, the cupcakes are already pulled out of the oven. As soon as she opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling warm air fills the room. 
Look at how cute they all look. She probably shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I have a question, I need to know the answer. It's like I have a question, I need to know the answer. If a woman is like sick, right? And her temperature is higher. Does her vagina become like a furnace and just start heating an entire room? Like a, like a portable radiator that you just saw like transporting around? Got yourself a femboy. The fuck do I know? <laughs> You're not a femboy. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Okay, but I, I didn't get an answer to my question, and I I'm still thinking about it. Can women literally become portable air conditioning units? Because of the heat or cold that radiates from their vagina. Yes or no? <laughs> Why are you asking? Like, any of us would know. I don't know. You guys have, like, moms and grandmas and shit? Ask your mom. You know what? If she's home, I will. Mom? Dad? Dad, I have a question. Dad, can you come up for a second? Okay, wait. He'll be up soon. We'll just play until then. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into these bags. Natsuki hand me some bags. Add these nozzles, they'll make it look nice and fluffy. This one. Oh, okay. I have a question. <laughs> so, you know how, like, the human body can change temperature, right? Can change temperature? Yeah. Depending on outside factors, yeah. Yeah, okay. And you know how, like, women have, like, vaginas and shit, right? Oh, my gosh. No, so I have a question. Can women be, like, a portable air conditioning unit, right? Like, I don't know. You give one a few ice cubes, and then now... Her vagina becomes like 15 degrees Celsius, and then you can just like carry her around and make her like cool off the room. Or like if they get sick, you know, and it's like winter, you put them in like the main room and then they just heat it up like a lantern. You know, you said a lot of stuff over the years. <laughs> This one, this one, Dante, you're <laughs> in Pluto right now. You're not even on this planet. <laughs> hey, thanks, son. He's <laughs> <is> flabbergasted. <laughs> ah, Dante, it's been five hours. When does the game get interesting? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Soon, dude! Fucking soon, dude! We probably won't be using it this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes to other patterns, but you can also use it to write stuff. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm? I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea, so... Haha, <laughs> maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute, come on. We're not school, nobody's judging. You can't just act like this and expect me to think you're cute. Not expect me to think you're cute. Well, Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Huh? Did you say something? N no nothing. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the paste and fastens the nozzle onto each of the bags. <laughs> There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Just me how to apply the icing when we each get to work. 
When I finally finish, she puts them all aside and admires our work. Look at how pretty they are. Yeah, they are, aren't they? I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner, so I really need to save my appetite. Sarah's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Well, anyway. Dude. I just gotta, I gotta address this. Isn't it so interesting that our current generation has made watching someone through a screen that we'll never know well in person, but it's normalized. Fuck you mean our generation. People have been doing this since the conception of fucking TV, bro. You go to an Elvis concert and 90% of the girls there would be willing to literally fucking drop their panties in one second because how in love they were for fucking Elvis, dude. Fuck you mean our generation. Okay, that's all I need to say. I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slow. You should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance, man. As usual, she places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sarah each carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat any. I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. I again think back to the conversation I had with her earlier today. Can you PLS just play the game and end this ACT thanks? Okay. I felt so helpless. Sarah always does listen to me, but at that point it felt like she couldn't listen to me well at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all the help and everything. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not always having this chance, it doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? Bro, this guy, like... Was he not listening to the conversation I would say Ori earlier? I think that, if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere... Um... Do you really mean that? Natsuki looks at me tensely like she's trying to add her expression. Yeah, I want to spend more time with you. Dantes chan I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I'm sorry to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I'd really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision, along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy. My head starts to go dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I felt it for a while now. Would you search up? Wait, give me a second. I want to see if I can find it. So I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Well, I've, I wasn't going to do nothing. You weren't going to do anything. No. Why don't uh, you tell me what your plan was tonight? <laughs> yeah, I'll be just out in a <laughs> Fucking Chris Hansen, dude. For a while now. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. S Sayori? <gasps> no! You fucking don't! Oh, shit! Ah! Hi, Dantes chan Sayori. Just now we weren't. Hee hee hee. It's okay, Dante Shine. Just stop by to say hi. Well, y you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so. Oh, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. Anyway, later. Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, oh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. Yeah, reality was probably far fucking worse, wasn't it? So I had to come here and sit for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki? And how close you got to her? It makes me really happy that you made such good friends. That's all that matters to me.
That's all that matters to me. Why am I feeling this way, Dantes? Shan, I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This would be so much better if I could just disappear. Sayori, don't say that. It's true, Dantes. Shan, if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just... MONICA WAS LIKE- WHAT?! Monica? Monica was right about what? Sayori? What I said before is true, I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't a burden your mind has made it out to be. It's something that makes me happy, it's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, but, Sayori looks away, I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Dante Shan, I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that, that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori? It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself, Dante Shan. I like you so much I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe me? Wordlessly, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know what you need the most right now, and that's what I'm going to give to you. Which way? I gently open the door, 